from the desk at Old Mates. You're watching Backyard Tech. What was it? About three or four weeks ago, we were doing a project regarding more work on the other half's parent's PC. And in about, what was it, part five of that video series, we organized another motherboard. But as we, uh, as we saw upon testing that board, something exploded. Well, it's teardown time here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one, let's try and find out what went bang. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is Teardown time here at the Backyard Tech Channel for Thursdays and uh, well the good news is to start off with, we're not using the old mobile phone, I've got the camera set up anyway. But what I wanna do specifically with this video is A, test the camera out, but B, I wanna try and find out what went bang on that Zeus motherboard that initially I was use, going to use for the other half's parents PC. And as we saw, as I said, I think it was about part five of that uh, video series, we were testing it out in an SFF case. And as you could see in the reflection from the plasma screen over there, it went bang. But what went bang? So I thought, well, we'll kill two birds with one stone in this video. We'll tear down the motherboard and find out what happened. And we'll test out the new video camera here at Backyard Tech. So let's head over to, uh, to that motherboard and find out what went pop. All right. So we're testing out the new camera here as well. Although there is a possibility I may have to get um, a microphone, but we'll work that out later. All right, first off, let's see. Uh, let's get the CPU fan undone first. in the right spot you guys are going to have to wait for me to get this right okay what we're going to do is get this in the right spot all right so what i think we need to do i don't know that this is going to work but uh we'll soon find out Oop. Ooh. so Let's just see if we can visualize any of it at the moment. I'll get the camera to move a bit further. That's as far as it's going to move, unfortunately. It doesn't look like there's anything let go on the board. Okay, which is good. That's what you want. But we do have one problem. The bang came from somewhere around my finger here. So what I'm going to do, obviously this board's had it, all right? No question about it. Let's get the uh, proc out of there. So there's the proc. see there there's a bit oh, the camera will focus but if I bring it up close enough I don't know whether that burn marks right or not 
either which way the boards had it and so is the CPU so I'm not I'm not overly worried about the board alright so now what we want to do is see whether or not we can actually see anything that's burnt anywhere on the board as well because if you remember it went bang in a big way right really went bang it's gonna zoom out a little bit oh no Oop. there we go so I mean the board's toast all right there's no getting around that fact but question is why is it toast all right See if we can see anything on the back of the board that might indicate something shorting out. It doesn't look like it. Okay. So I've got a few problems. Clearly, we've got a few problems. Um, Alright. Let me pause the video here. I've got to get the charger for the camera and we'll be back all right so there's nothing obvious on the board so what we want to do now i know the other half wants one of these batteries or something of hers so hopefully the battery's all right get that out of there all right so i think what we'll do next we'll take the Heat sink off here. Finally get it to come off. You guys can't really see what I'm doing, can you? Let me grab a screwdriver, hang on. over much like when I first started making videos using the phone it'll take me a little bit to get used to doing this oh I think I just found out what went pop there if I bring it up close enough you can uh, there's the chipset that doesn't look like it went pop it makes me wonder because the what what you don't see okay on the camera is the pop coming from around where the screwdriver is all right so it makes me wonder whether one of these FETs has died or voltage regs has died or whether it was something on the PCI bus that let go because I caught it out the back of my eye all right so it was definitely somewhere around here which means it's either somewhere around the proc or somewhere on the VRM because these, these are part of your, I think these are your voltage regulators. And the thing is, I can't, I mean, you can't actually see anything there that would tell you that it's, it's gone bang. Alright, so you're basically looking at what I saw out of the corner of my eye. Right? Now, that is where the problem is. question is where did it come from so, 
that it came from the fan. I mean, the fan's probably still all right. Fan cable's looking reasonable, Nick. I will get better with this camera, trust me. <laughs> it's just going to take a little bit of time to sort it out. I'll probably hang on to the fan for now. Um, but I sort of want to try and figure out and see whether I can actually see whether anything actually exploded on here because I can't, I mean if we look on the back, alright, so you're looking across here, so there's, that's your PCIe bus for your graphics card, so you're looking from there to the top of the back plate, okay, sort of where you're looking. But as you can see, there's nothing on the back side of the board that looks burnt or exploded. And the same can be said for the front side of the board. I'm actually looking at, the, at these here to see whether anything's actually black or not. Alright, well, I mean, either which way, the board's toast, okay? It's, it's dead set in the Fed Income Department cactus. But, the question is, is what let go? If we pull that up. If you look at the actual socket, if I turn the thing around the right way, whoops. If you have a look at the socket, you can see there that there's not actually much to indicate that anything let go. But it could actually be the VRM that let go right down this side here. So, well, don't know. It's a problem with double sided boards as well in some cases. Let's try and see if we can get, get this up. I don't think we can. Oh. No. That'll just make too much mess. Oh well. There's nothing obvious. So it it just hinges upon a myriad of things, really, doesn't it? It's a shame. I mean these P8 boards were reasonable. They weren't that bad a board, but this one's well toast. Dead set in the Fed Income Department cactus. Well, not much we can really do about it. There's nothing obvious, so it's either uh, transistor's gone pop, one of these awful IC caps has gone pop down here. We'll have to figure it out at a later date. That made life easy, didn't it, guys? There we go. Not much to be able to pour down, but, I mean, the board's not worth saving, so... Um, it can go over with the rest of the uh, garbage to be thrown out, really, unfortunately. There we go. All right, guys, catch you tonight for the convos. Have a good one. This has been another presentation from Backyard Tech.